Hey, this is Daniel um, of Daniel G. Bennis Science Shows. And uh, in two days, <clears throat> I have a uh, children's survival science camp. And to get ready for that camp, one of the, uh, one of the projects that we're doing is we're going to be building uh, fishing nets, very, very useful fishing nets, out of the inner fibers of 550 paracord. Here's some bright orange paracord. And you see if you take this yellow sheath off of here, you have seven strands. This has five, uh, kind of cheap. Actually, there's a sixth, and I bet there's a seventh. So seven strands. Some of, Sometimes it'll have five. Uh, sometimes it'll have seven. Sometimes it'll have 14. But um, if you take all those strands out and you put one big section of paracord across the top of a wooden frame such as this one here that I built today, built uh, seven of these today, um, and they're all disassemblable so they can be taken and uh, stored away. There we go. Um, and if you hang the fibers across the top of them, you can actually weave these together into a net. So here's how I'm going to do that really quickly. I have one, one piece here that's quite long, twice the distance of from here to here. And I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap the top around once, twice, three times. Pull those through, pull it tight, and move it over and do that again really quickly here one two three through the center pull down pull it tight and it'll uh, I'll have 16 of these across here and then once you've got those across then you take two like this and you put, and I'm only gonna do a temporary loop in here, by the way, because I don't actually wanna tie these after all this work. Put a temporary loop right there. You actually pull it all the way through, it's a square knot, and then you end up with a triangle. And then you do that again with these two. And then you do it again with these two. Once you do that, then you come down to the loop. Let's say that these have been done, okay, like so. Then you come down to this string and this string, <laughs> there we go. And you keep tying them until you uh, get a fishing net. And if you hold on one second. So this is what the actual fishing net looks like with the paracord. This is actually made 100% from paracord. It's very, very strong. Um, you can use it as a gill net. You can catch birds with it, that kind of thing. Um, only as a, a, a latch, last ditch resort in a survival situation, otherwise, you know, no reason to kill animals for no reason, but for, for um, survival's sake, this will definitely help you survive, you or your family members. And um, if you'll hand me that, thank you, Deanna. Okay, so if we come back here, you can see here are seven of the fishing net frames and uh, all ready to go. If I come around the side, you can see here they are. Each one is independent. All these pegs are removable for, for storage. Each one has 16 strands. Each strand is a single strand that has been divided in half. And uh, if you follow it to the end, you'll see that there you go. And that way they can be woven together. And so these are basically looms is what they are. They're fishing net looms. And uh, because there's so many of them and they're long enough, each one of these can be at a different table. And there could be multiple students that can uh, learn these skills. Um, all at once and so there you go there you have it and back to this here's the entire roll of string by the way very cheap um it's not this is not super strong string i would not want to rely on this actual string um, this is actually paracord is what i would rely on um, that string right there if that's all i had yes i would make a net out of it but it's the reason that i'm using this is because it's thicker it's easier to work with and these are kids that are working with this so um, you don't have to use the exact material, you can use a facsimile and one that aids education. And that's what this does. And it's also inexpensive. All right, and then over here, some cheap 550 paracord. Not military grade, I wouldn't drop out of the sky relying on this, but it does have the fibers and that's what's necessary to make this net and all of those. That's what I've been up to today. Made all these frames and we're uh, putting all the strings on here and getting these ready for the camp. And these are totally reusable. Um, I'll be able to use these over and over and over again. And there'll be a lot of kids. That's why there's so many, something like 50, 60 kids, I think. So that's why there are so many. Um, all right, that's it.
Okay, cue music that I wrote. And we'll come up over here. El Corridor playing in the background. And then we'll go down into this. Welcome to the jungle. We're gonna go under it, pass it through, one hand over, one hand above, and then we'll end. Um, how about this? How about we add a face? There's a face on this vase. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll put that right there. And then I can come through and end on this face. Or this face. And that's it. There's always a behind the scenes. Sometimes much more interesting than the rest of the video. Now let's go outside.